My name is Phil and I'm a Level 3 Cycle Coach and Strength and Conditioning Coach at Cadence Performance. Today we're going to introduce seven exercises which target key areas for cyclists, which include the muscles around the hips and knees, the core and the upper body. The first exercise is a mountain climber. It primarily focuses on the abdominals, but it also focuses on the deltoids and the quadriceps. For the mountain climbers, we're going to drop down into a push-up position. Hands and feet are both going to be shoulder width apart. We're going to keep our shoulders directly over our wrists. Once we're ready, we're going to level our chin and slowly bring one knee up in between our elbows. It's very important that we keep our core engaged and try to avoid bringing our hips high. We're going to keep our hips in line with our spine, knee up between the elbow, and as we progress, we're going to start making that movement more dynamic and we're going to speed everything up. Some of the benefits of a mountain climber are to really develop your upper bodies and your shoulders and also your hips. This is going to keep you nice and stable as you're driving your legs through the saddle. The second exercise is a renegade row. This focuses on the core but also the biceps and the triceps. For the renegade row we're going to have you come into a push-up position we're going to keep our shoulders over our wrists and then we're going to separate our feet so that they are wider than shoulder width. We're going to bring our hands right next to one another and we're going to engage our core and our glutes as we bring one arm up and bring our elbow nice and high. Back down and we're going to keep our core engaged and change sides without tilting our core too much. Developing the strength in your shoulders is going to help you hold an aerodynamic position when you're down on your drops. The third exercise is the goblet squat. This focuses on the quads, but also the hamstrings, the glutes and the core. For the goblet squat, we're going to separate our feet so they're just outside shoulder width apart. We're going to make sure our toes are pointed out just ever so slightly from in front of us. We're going to engage our core to make sure that we're not tilting our pelvis. Stay nice and strong and engaged. We're going to pick up our weight. We're going to keep that close to our chest at all times. It's going to counterbalance us through our squat. We're going to bend at the knees and we're going to go down to just about 90 degrees. You're going to engage your glutes and you're going to keep your head and your chin up at the whole time. And engaging your hamstrings and through your bum muscles to come back up to standing. Keeping your weight through the heels as much as possible. This is going to increase your strength really help you drive through the entire movement of your pedal stroke. The fourth exercise is the lateral squat. This focuses on the glutes primarily, but also the quads and the hamstrings. For the lateral squat, we're going to separate our feet so they are outside shoulder width apart. We're going to have our toes pointed out ever so slightly. We're going to engage our core and keep our chest nice and high and our chin nice and high. We're going to bring our hands up in front of us to counterbalance us through the movement. We're going to sink down to one side. We're going to keep our opposite leg nice and straight and keep the weight through the heel as much as possible. Not going to let our knee come too far over our toe. From here, we're going to engage our hamstrings and our glutes to bring us back up to the middle before transitioning back over to the other side. A huge benefit of a lateral squat is that it really develops strong knee alignment during your cycle stroke going to keep your knee nice and straight. The fifth exercise is the split squat. This primarily focuses on the quads but also the hamstrings and the glutes. For the split squat we're going to step into a lunge position. We're going to keep our weight through our heel as much as possible. To do this we can bring our toes just gently up into the front of our shoes. We're going to make sure our shoulders are directly over our hips. We're going to engage our core make sure that we're not tilting our pelvis. From here, we're going to bring our arms up and we're going to drop ourselves down so that our back knee is an inch or so off of the ground. We're going to engage our hamstrings and our glutes to bring us back up. Like all squat movements, the split squat is really going to help build strength and it's going to help you generate knee drive through the top half of your stroke. The next exercise is the front plank. This focuses on the core and the glutes. For the plank, we're going to come into a lying position and we're going to keep our shoulders directly over our elbows. 
From here, we're gonna engage our core and our glutes and bring our knees off the ground. We're gonna set a nice straight spine and we're gonna keep our chin in a neutral position. It's important to make sure that our bum is neither too high nor too low. Engaging the core, engaging the glutes, and you're gonna hold that position. The planks really gonna help develop your core strength, which is incredibly important to making you a really efficient cyclist. The final exercise is the back extension. This focuses on the erector spinae, which are the muscles that run up and down the spine. For the back extensions, we're gonna come into a lying position, arms out towards our side with our hands just in front of our face. From here, we're gonna engage our core and our glutes and arch our back up, bringing our chest off the floor. And we're gonna hold it for two seconds, making sure that we keep our feet on the ground. What you want to do is make sure that your core and your glutes are engaged the entire time. Cycling is a kinetic chain exercise. The back extension is going to help you be more efficient and stable on the bike, which is going to help you generate power. We hope that you found these exercises useful. Start with what you feel comfortable doing and build up if you want to. Doing just three 10-minute sessions a week is going to make a real difference to your cycling efficiency and power.